Volunteers are organizing this by the number of people in their household, so that determines how many supplies they actually get, whether it be water, dried food, or female products. The house, all the furniture gone, a bunch of technology gone. It, it, it's all bad. Using a truck they borrowed from a friend, Sergio Berenstein and his family came to get water and food. They live in Naples, and a lot of people need help here after Hurricane Ian barreled through. Folks are in survival mode. They've kind of got a blank stare. When you talk to folks, they're uh, just kind of trying to figure out what they're going to do for their next meal. Folks, we got water, we got prepackaged meals, we got milk of all kinds. So on the way by, I saw this, so I said, let me stop by because we do need a lot of stuff. There's five people in the house and uh, at the store, Walmart and everything, shelves are kind of empty. Coordinators at St. Matthew's House say it's been difficult to get the word out about their food drives. Most people are finding out through neighbors and others who have power on social media. You see a lot of folks pulling in that are organic. They see the signs out here on the road. I just did a live on my personal page. We've put it out through a text line that we have. A lot of these volunteers also hunkered down and battled the storm. Rhiannon Connors says her home sustained no damage. My heart's go out to everyone who's impacted and I'm just trying to do the best that I can and help people in whatever way I can. God bless you guys. Bye. Thank you. It may take some time for the Naples community to accept what happened, but people here say they'll stick together and rebuild shoulder to shoulder. No, we're a little shaken, yeah, but it's... It, Stuff happens in life. Life isn't fair. That's what my dad tells me. Um, it, it was a, it was just a house, just objects. As long as everyone is um, all right, then that's all that matters. Folks in Naples and around the area are going to be looking for these basic necessities for some time. So there are two other events just like this one. One is coming up on Monday, October 3rd. That's at the Ocean Church in Cape Coral from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. And then there's another one on Wednesday, October 5th. That's at the Paradise Sports Complex in Naples. That's running from 10 a.m. to noon. In Naples, I'm Alex Bozargian for Fox 4.